I think our next guest is going to agree with me. All right, and with that, we welcome head coach Manny Gomez of the Harlingen High Cardinals into the huddle. Coach, how are you, sir? Yeah, well, how are you guys doing? You know what? We're, we're hanging in there for a Saturday morning. How was your, uh, your Saturday morning off? I assume that you didn't break down any video this morning. No, believe it or not, we're here at uh, 8 o'clock this morning. That's a, that's just a tradition. Saturday mornings, we get up here. Uh, a couple of coaches bring some barbecue, some sweet bread, and we get going, man. You know, so it, yeah, we've been up and running. Which is the uh, preferred barbacoa? Do you like cachete? How do you like, uh, you know, what? Cachete, brother, with the big red. You know what <laughs> All right, explain, explain that to me, because I haven't tried it yet. What is the barbacoa? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What? Is this Tony I'm talking to? This, this is. This is, Coach. Tony, you, you've been living here for how long? <laughs> I grew up down here, but I've never, I, you know, it's, it's, I never thought of putting those two together. Combination, baby. Uh, it's, it's something, I don't know, man. It's just something that's like peanut butter and jelly, man. Barbacoa, the big red. Something about the big red brings up the flavor of that, of that meat. But, man, we, uh, we do that every Saturday morning. That's what really gets these guys up to, man. I've been up to early, man. So I got to bring some barbacoa and stuff for these guys. But, no, 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 no. We, we, we actually have a busy schedule. We have uh, two freshman games in the calendar, two JV games. Actually, they're going on right now. Since we played on Thursday, we have to play these games today. So, But it's still, uh, it's still a part of our routine. Saturday mornings come up to early. And uh, get get ready for the for the next opponent. Start breaking down film. Tell me about Thursday night's matchup against Mac High. Uh, it was uh, it was it was good, man. It was it was, it was great. You know, we started off a little slow, and, uh, and uh, based on what I hear on the paper, that they they weren't focused, or he had enough time to focus, or something to that extent. But you know, we went out there and we we, we did what we had to do, man. And, and the most important thing is that we came out healthy and uh, on to the next one, man. Anything that you. Uh... You saw Thursday night that you would say, you know what, there's, we got to work on this, we got to focus on this, we got to fix this situation. No, yeah, well, you know, we we have an unbalanced defense, and and, and at times they were able to uh, uh, outsmart us with their formations. I know something similar that that uh, what's the going to try to do, but it, it's that's football. You know, it's, it's my responsibility to, to make sure that we uh, we have plenty of people on, on, on each side of the football, but. Uh, but, you know, that's something that happened early on. You know, we, we have a, a new kid that we moved from, from Sam to the outside roller position. And uh, he's a veteran, and, and uh, you know, he, he put himself on the wrong side a couple of times. But it was a little learning kind of thing because, you know, it's early on still. That's what the non-district games are for, to iron out the wrinkles. And I, and I believe that he saw himself in film. So, oh, coach, I, I can see how I screwed up. And, you know, seeing is believing, man. And, and, and that's the whole thing. We like, watch that film correct it. We'll be okay. Coach, this is Carlos Roberto from 956sports.com. How you doing? Hey, doing great, Carlos. Coach, taking on San Antonio Reagan, you know, we were talking a little bit about that earlier and on how Harlingen over the past few years has taken on the San Antonio schools, took on Abilene uh, not too uh, long ago. How does that prepare you in, in getting ready for the teams from the Rio Grande Valley? And, of course, it's also, it also helps you guys in the playoffs. Well, you know, you, you always want to learn from the guys who are state champions. And uh, Patrick Dowling, uh, I befriended him way back when he was in the Cal and when he went to Katy. And I, and, and I became a head coach. I said, Coach, you know, give, give me some ideas about why you guys are so, always so successful, Katie. And so, well, you know, what we do is, is uh, you know, non-district is, is non-district. It's, uh, you know, down here, I guess, small-minded mentalities, you know, big city, broad-minded mentalities. And, and everybody believes in numbers, you know. Well, we're 2-0, no, we're 3 no. and That's how you finish. And, and that's one thing that, that we emphasize here. It's not how you start, it's how you finish where you're 1-2, and 0-3. Oh you know, we were 0-5 my senior year at, in college, and, we ended up going to the semifinals, uh, so but we played some some uh, some very high ranked teams, Hugh Douglas team out of Central Ohio. So all that stuff has been part of my mindset. Uh, you know what? Let, let's let's take some lumps early on, and, and and make us tougher because that's the way the that's the way I was raised. My my oldest brothers were big and and they were football players for the Harlingen High School way back when, and and they used to beat up on me when I was a kid. They throw me around and stuff, and it toughened me up, man. So it's always been a part of my nature to. You kind of pick on the bullies early on, you know, and and and, uh, and see if it can kind of like uh, set us straight about how hard, how much harder we have to work, and and that's that's the approach that I've taken here at Harlingen, and it, and it seems to work for us. But you know, sometimes you got to be careful who you pick on, man. You know for sure. But at the same time, I know that the uh, the end result will be a win-win situation, no matter what the outcome was. But you know, I don't know if you guys had an opportunity to see that game, but you know, we had every opportunity in the book to win that game versus Reagan. Uh, but of course, you know, after a while, the conditioning, it, it, our schedule really was, was what hurt us. Not having a game week one, and then you playing a, a, a juggernaut like San Antonio Reagan, you know, game game conditioning, we were not there in the third quarter. Showed that like eight guys cramping at one time. 
and uh, you know something that we live and learn from. But uh, but uh, you know it's 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 what I don't live in the past is learn from it, and they're definitely going to be excited to, to, to take a trip to West Coast this, this Friday. Absolutely, and, and another a tough game is West Laco is uh, you know again in the top ten most polls and, and up there. I know they're coming off a loss. Uh, you all came out healthy. I know when you play a bigger team like Reagan, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. I know you guys, you have a bunch of tough boys over there in Harlingen. So I, I know you guys, are you, are you healthy? You talked about being healthy after McAllen. Are you guys still, uh, you know, still doing pretty good in that? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's what every coach in America you know, keeps their fingers crossed. You know, we're not like the Katie's or the, uh, the Allens. Those guys have uh, almost 6,000 people, 6,000 kids in their school where they have you know, two teams like first and second group that can that can go. You know, we, we down here in the valley, uh, you know, we, we might have a good first group, and after that, it's just it's just your second group guys are not as, as physical, or not as big. So, it's something that it's it's important that the um, you know as, as head coaches we, we we start making the right decisions once we start pulling away from the team and stuff. Because to me, it's it's not about statistics. Uh, in, in, in my eyes, it's about that W, man, and, and, and finding a way to win and keep kids healthy. And we know it's going to be a long season, so you got to be smart in managing the, tr- in the, the game as, as the game goes on. Coach, it's uh, I know you're a boxing fan. You're going to be watching Mayweather and uh, Andre Berto tonight uh, box. Yeah, for sure, man, for sure, because I'm an underdog guy, man. I've always taken the underdog approach, you know. Uh, we, we never read the papers, honestly, man, because we got some people that probably never played a game that are, that are writing <laughs> stuff, you know. So to me, it's like, Tell me it's, about it's, it. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm freaking serious, you know? <laughs> but uh, but to me, it's like I first tell the kids, I got you got guys that probably were in band, or not, not nothing, nothing against band, but they never played the game, so they don't understand what it is to be in the trenches. They don't understand any of that stuff. So why read their stuff, man? It's like it's like a it's like a, a turtle asking a giraffe for advice. Man. You know, that's the way I see what some of these sports writers are. And uh, but not try, now I'm not trying to offend nobody, man. But but that's just the way I see it. I think it's 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 sometimes hilarious. Some of the stuff that you read, uh, you know, but it's all good though, man, because it's fun, you know. It's, that's that's what it's all about, you know. It's it's football as a game. It should be fun, uh, on and off the field, man. That's the point where it, it's personal. You know what I'm saying? It's not like that. It's it's a it's a fun game. It's a fun game to coach, and and that's kind of the way we approach it here at Hans. And it's got to be fun. If not, you're working or you're, it's a chore. Nobody likes to work. Yeah. Nobody likes chores. So, but yeah, I'm I'm, I'm actually rooting for Berto. You know, I, I know Mayweather is a. He's a beast, man. You know, numbers don't lie. People do, man. And his numbers are, are there. And, and, and that's the whole thing. Uh, but Berto, he's a guy that, hey, man, it's, it's, like, a, it's like the Seahawks. Uh, those guys were our, our champions because a lot of those guys have a chip on their shoulder because they're, they were third, fourth, five, fifth round draft picks. It's just, man, just put me in the field. Give me an opportunity. And Coach Kara does that. And, and, and that's why those, those guys are so successful, man. But, uh, but anyway, I know I, I went to a different tangent, but hopefully I answered your question. Yes, sir. Jake? Hey, Coach, you've got an underdog in uh, – well, he looked like he would be an underdog, but he's he's a blur on the field in Tienda. Talk to me about him. How good is he? Well, uh, you know, the whole thing about that kid is is, is just knowing his, his background, family background. You know, that's the whole thing with me. I, I talk to these kids and get to know them uh, on and off the field. And that's why these kids, you know, they, they fight for us as coaches because, you know, we spend a lot of time picking them up and this and that. And, and he's a kid who – his his family background is is made him as a, a, the, the tough kid that he is. You know, I believe is you know he has a he has a brother who was in a in a motorcycle accident and, and had some kind of paralysis happen to him about two weeks ago, uh, and he's playing for his brother. But at the same time, and that kid has just been uh, in his whole younger life, meeting getting to know this kid when he was in middle school. You know, that's what coaches would always say is like, you know, this kid's got some. He's a rough kid. He's a rough kid. I well, had he gotten to know the kid. And that's the whole thing with me. I like to get to know these kids and talk to them. That way, they can they can feel comfortable around their coach. To be able to to have no resistance and go out there and have tremendous effort on the field, because if it's anything in life, if you have a resistance, whether it's an issue at home and then you go and you go to work, you know you're not going to perform very well because you got that resistance on your mind. So let's get it off and be clear. That way, we can go on the field or into the classroom and be productive. And that's that's kind of the uh, the uh, it's not kind of it's the the culture that, that I have embedded here at Harlingen High School since I've taken over. And, uh, but that kid, like I said, he's got tremendous balance. That's the whole thing about that kid. He's got tremendous balance. Anybody can be quick. Anybody can be fast. But this kid's got, uh, he's not as fast, but he's really quick, but he's got tremendous balance. You know, he, he's rocked up. Kid, kid's 
got muscles on muscles, and the kid just works hard, and, and he's a yes or no sort kind of guy. And, and that's the whole thing about him, man. But the thing is, is that kid just plays with a lot of, uh, I don't want to say hate, but just a lot of uh, adversity in his life that he's experienced. Is it, you know, he, he carries it onto the field and, and disposes it on, on his opponents. But don't get me wrong, he, he, he's got a great offensive line that's doing some good things for him. So that's the whole thing about that. You can ask that kid that same question. You know, why used to say, he'll tell you, the old line, the old line pushes for him, and, and he definitely was hard. Well, tonight, besides the Birdo fight, are you going to be at San Benito or the San Benito McCallum Memorial game? Is this a, is this a scouting game? No, I, actually, man, uh, I, I truly believe that, uh, that any time that we have an opportunity to spend with our families, we do, man. And, and believe me, I'll, I'll, I'll spend time with the family, and I'll be on Twitter checking up the scores and stuff. But <laughs> You can watch no, the game on 956sports.com. Yeah, yeah, 956 Sports. Or, 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 or believe me, i got some friends that, that can, I can eventually get that film and watch it myself, break it down more from a football's perspective. But... Yeah, you know, I, I wish both teams a, a great evening, a great, a great game. It should be, it should be definitely a fun game uh, to go watch as a fan, as a football fan. You're gonna, you're gonna see some good stuff, man. But uh, at the same time, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta spend some time with the, with the wifey and the, and my kids, my girls and stuff, and and, and do that and uh, and uh, and get ready for what's to go. Coach, behind uh, Harlingen, who's the next best team in the valley? Uh, you know what, man? Honestly, I, I'll leave that up to you guys. And, you know, my I'm thing just is, a like, drama I, guy that, you know, I, I didn't play any sports, yeah, well, so I don't know. I don't, I, well, I, don't, I don't do drama, so that's why I, I don't, I don't want I don't, I don't to give anybody any kind of bulletin board material, man. You know, t- you know, Tony, I know exactly what you're trying to do, man. They, they, <laughs> no, they, no, I'm not baiting. They, they need, I'm not baiting. I said that you, for the other guys. They need to call you the Kachata, man. It's stir stuff up, man. You know what I'm <laughs> But it's all good, like I said, man. You, you do a good job of what you do, but, you know, the, my thing is I take care of my nest, man. That's it. Coach, and it's obvious by anybody listening or anybody that knows you, your nest is very important to you. I mean, mm-hmm. you talked about Tienda and how you reach out to him, and that's not the first player that you've done it to. You do that to all your guys. You get to know them on a level that's on the field and off the field, and for that, you got to be admired. No, that's, that's just honestly is just the way uh, the culture, you know, being a believer in, in, in Christ, man, it's something that, that is so, so, like, lacked in, in a lot of these kids' lives, and, and I try to do it. Uh, as much as I can, because like I said, a lot of these kids are lost, and uh, and when they, when, you, when you come about it and show them that and give them that hope, man, it's like their eyes just open up, like really, you know, you're gonna do that for me, coach, and all this other stuff. And I said, man, we're gonna do this together. So, and that's and that's and that's what we've done, and they've embraced, they've have embraced it, and and it's just a it's just a great thing. And that's the way it is. Coach, we appreciate the time. Uh, enjoy the fight. Enjoy the family time tonight. And uh, good luck next week against Wells to go. Hey, Tony, it might, it might not be too late. You can send old Jake to find some barbacoa and some, and some big reds, man. Five, so. I, you know what? Where, where do you get yours in Harlingen? I'm going to let you give the gratuitous free plug there. Where do you get yours yeah. in Harlingen? It's uh, actually Alejandro's, man. It's the best stuff. they got great bakery stuff. they got the, like, like, like uh, empanadas on steroids, man. they got a huge bakery stuff there, man, in, in the uh, – they sell they sell barbacoa cachete and they got it they got it also with uh, regular which is like with a bunch of grease and then they got some other stuff that also has got lingua in there but I we usually do just pure cachete and it's good stuff man but anyway it's uh, it's fat free here at Alejandro it's fat free nah there's no such thing as fat free <laughs> no but it's good stuff man but like I said we only eat it on Saturdays so up there I, I want to try to look to it. I'm past 80, man, so I, I try to stay away from it as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next stop in Harlingen. I'm stopping in at Alejandro's to get some cachete and big red. You won't do it, man. You won't. Uh, but if you do do it, you better freaking bring me some, too. Done. Done. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll make uh, it happen. Even if it's yeah, not sir. on a Saturday morning, though. Hey, but it's Friday. They, they have it on Friday. That's my, my ritual. So I'm, uh, Friday morning, I go get me one of those suckers, kind of grease up the, 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 the joints, man, ready for Friday night football. But... <laughs> No, nah, but anyway, listen, I appreciate you guys having me on, and uh, good luck to you guys, and, 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 and stay crazy, man. So it's just fun stuff. That's it. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate your right, time. Guys. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Head Coach Manny Gomez of the Harlingen High Cardinals. We, we didn't even make a Fred Lawyer reference there. 